And you want to know how I feel about her taking him back after him gifting her that truck. Hey, you guys. So, in this vlog, I wanted to quickly just go through what happened in the last vlog. I know I look a mess right now, you guys, but it'll all be better in a couple days, I promise you. The situation that happened in the middle of the street with the black guy and the white guy. So, the black guy was like a firefighter. And the white guy was just a veteran. He was drunk. He was drunk driving. The black guy um, commandeered his vehicle or keys or whatever. And the white guy was like trying to fight him because he was drunk and he didn't know what was going on. Um, and the black guy had like a young niece in his car. And so he asked me to check on her. The reason why I stopped my car was because I wanted to record. Because I was literally already vlogging. Hold on. I was literally already vlogging you guys but I was like oh my god so I turned my camera around thinking oh my gosh it's some action but it turned out to be this whole dramatic scene and I thought it was a situation like black on white white on black but it wasn't it was just simply like somebody who was drunk who could have put other people in danger and a citizen trying to help the de-escalate situation and so I just kind of stayed stayed there for a little bit because if there was going to be the, something that happened I wanted it to be on film I didn't want people to be thinking that this black guy was trying to harm this white guy or because y'all know the climate and so it wasn't like that at all um the white guy was just really discombobulated and drunk and um it made me sad because he could have seriously hurt someone and he could have hurt himself but just the fact of how it was perceived by everybody that was pulling over like, oh my God, is he okay? Is he okay? And when really this guy was putting people in harm's way and it's like as soon as people found out, oh, he's drunk, like that's when they just got in their cars and left, like not even making sure like the black guy was okay and I didn't like any of it, like black, white or, or any of it, but it just, it goes to show you that people thought that this black guy was trying to harm this white guy and he wasn't he was trying to help him and i happened to see that the white guy had a knife on him the veteran let's refer to him as the veteran and we'll refer to the black guy as a firefighter so the veteran had a knife on him and i just told the vet uh firefighter look he has a knife he took the knife and threw it and basically he just was talking to the guy very nicely but the 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 veteran was also, like, look, you can't tell me what to do, da 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 I mean, you know, drunk talk. So, I stayed there until the paramedics came and the police came, and they didn't want a statement or anything like that. So, um, I'm assuming that it was fine. But the last thing that I would have wanted was to go home that day and see on the news somewhere that this situation happened. And I here I was with my camera pulled out, and I didn't do anything to help this guy or these guys. Granted, if something terrible had happened, but... Thankfully, the little girl was okay. She was scared. She was like, just when I went over to the truck, she was just shaking her head no. And I'm like, are you okay? Like, I didn't get too close to her, but I was just trying to tell her, you know, uncle is trying to help somebody. And she was just scared. And um, when I went to the the veteran's van to um, close the door because his van door was open and there was traffic trying to go, it just smelled like alcohol. And there was like a fresh like made drink in there so he was pretty lit and he was a smaller guy so um i just wish them all the best i hope that everything's okay with everybody that was a couple weeks ago you guys and i didn't want to leave you guys hanging i can't find the footage of where i was telling you guys what happened but i'm just recording that right now today so hi but let's get back to the vlog hey y'all so it is monday evening at 9 36 and i just uploaded a video so the video I just uploaded was my Rare Beauty foundation, concealer, um, first impressions, I guess. And right now I just finished cooking something to eat. And for dinner I made some of these beans. These are like the Spanish beans. Um, habichuelas? Habichuelas? I don't know. <laughs> I made these. And then I made some yellow rice. And also, this is a caramel glazed salmon. I left it in a little longer, but I seasoned it up. It was pretty plain looking, but it was caramel glazed. And um, Darren bought me that salmon the other day. And so I went ahead and cooked that up for dinner this evening. Um... 
I know y'all probably already know, but for those who don't know, like, I basically cook for myself. If I don't cook, I just eat out because uh, <clears throat> Darren is on a food meal plan, so he does his own preparations. Like, but you know, if he leaves the meat out, I'll season it up and put it in the oven. But that I don't really have to cook for him, so I just like threw this in here for me. I thought he was gonna eat some, but he's pretty strict on what he eats and so i was just catching up on some youtube i was trying to get my video up i didn't realize that my videos were not uploading in hd so i took it down and re-uploaded it because like i'm a perfectionist like that check this out i think i already showed y'all this but i don't remember how cute is this i'm gonna link this because a lot of people like this on my instagram and um, I was also asked to start uploading some nail inspo in my highlights on Instagram. So I'm going to go ahead and redo my page and my highlights. But I did make that highlight. So it's going to be nails and feet. Like, you know, because a lot of times I notice people will upload their nails, but they don't upload like you can't find a lot of inspo. For, well, I don't find a lot of inspo for pedicures, you know what I mean? Even if it's down to like the shape, the particular color, whatever. Still recovering from my eyes being hella irritated. I don't know if you can see, but it's hella textured because it's just, it's just dry and whatever. But today, basically, all I did was take a Poshmark um, order to the post office and me and Darren hung out. Uh, Naja's not here. She's going to be at my mom's for a couple weeks just because she hasn't spent any time with them in a while and also because my mom takes care of her hair braiding needs and so my mom is going to braid her hair so she can have a protective style for a few months. I'm um, so grateful for that because literally getting up in the mornings is hard. <laughs> It's so hard. Like, I love getting up in the morning, but getting up at the time I get up to be up before her and to make sure that everything is prepped and to brush her hair, you know, mom stuff, it's hard. And I just, like, any little break I can get, I'll take it because, like, me brushing her hair every day, oiling her hair, making sure it looks presentable just to sit on a computer, like, that's how I am, so... I don't want her looking thrown away. I don't want her looking uncared for. So I take the time to, even if it's a bun, even if it's a ponytail, I try to make her look presentable because the image that she sees is how she's going to feel about herself. You know what I mean? So um, by no means am I a perfect mom, but I really try. And also that gives me a break to get some things in order that I'm trying to do and um, I'm just grateful. Um, besides that, I'm just going to take a shower here in a little bit. I think Darren's in the shower right now. Well, this week is Darren's birthday week. So his birthday is actually on Thursday. So a couple little things we have to finish here because we're having his family come to surprise his mom because her birthday, I guess he just wants to surprise his mom on his birthday for her birthday early. I know that's confusing so that's what's going on here in the home front i'm so happy that i'm gonna be able to get back to my regular scheduled programming and i can't wait to update y'all on what the hell has been going on so that's coming tomorrow which for you will be in the next clip okay i will talk to you guys tomorrow good night I'm back from Target. Let me show y'all what I got. Y'all know I love to show you guys everything. Oh my god. Okay, so okay, here's a card for Darren's mom for her birthday. Okay. And of course I had to re-up on my wet ones. One thing about me is I love the travel section in Target. So this is where you can get some wet ones and these kill 99% of bacteria. So they're good to keep in your car, in your purse, whatever. I've got some of the Cetaphil Pro Restore Derm Soothing Wash. And um, y'all know I'm having a little, it's, little issue with my face right now. So 
I picked some of this up. This shit was like $16, so it better work. Okay. I picked up some tweezers. This particular brand of tweezers, Trim, is only 85 cents at Target. Okay, they're not really sh super sharp or anything, but they're slanted tip. And um, I like to keep these, especially when I get longer nails, which I'm about to cut these down. <laughs> but all my tweezers are gone, so I had to get some more tweezers. I got some Aqua 4. This is something that you guys probably should look into getting, not just for tattoos, but especially for the fall and winter months, just for your skin because it helps with dry, irritated, or cracked skin. And um, this is a healing ointment. I love this. And my daughter uses it. Like, we get this probably every year just for her lips. I'm going to put it on my eyes later. I don't know if y'all can see. You see all that texture in there? Okay. I picked me up some more coffee pods. These are the breakfast blend. Um, and this is just... Um, um, like a mildly sweet breakfast roast. I picked up some trash bags. Nothing special about that. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited about this though. This is something I'm going to put in the film room. This is a um, essential oil diffuser. Let me take it out of the box. Damn, I'm all slamming it down. Let me take it out of the box so we can look at it together. This was like $28, but... I've really been wanting something really pretty to put in that room, especially because like, you know, I have bad allergies. And so I love, and plus that room is my space to create and to be in my zone. So I love to have a candle burning or even like, I don't know, I just been wanting a diffuser in there. So I got one. So this is what it's going to look like. And you just put the water in here, a couple drops of essential oil. I love mixing my essential oil and I think it has a light on it. So I am so hyped about that. Y'all, y'all just don't know. I live for the vibes. If it ain't a vibe, I'm not going. I also picked up these Everspring Down to Earth Solutions Multi-Surface Cleaning Wipes. This is the scent Lemon and Mint. There's only 35 wipes in here. Slim pickings in Target as far as cleaning products and stuff like that, but, oh damn. Yeah, y'all know we about to have people come over, so. <laughs> okay. Also, I got some sanitizing alcohol wipes. Um, and this I'm gonna keep in my film room because it's just a lot of stuff I have to wipe down constantly. So, you know. I got some Downy Infusions Bliss Sparkling Amber and Rose Scent Boosters. This is the big boy right here. This is like the $16 or $17 one. We love these. So that's what that is. I want to smell this. No, I don't. Not right now. Okay, I picked my daughter up some masks. So this is the Cat and Jack brand that Target has for kids. And these masks is a, um, this kind, the Lumberjack, and then the black um for the holidays this was only four dollars for a pack of two also i got myself some masks so that this was also four dollars for a pack of two um, reusable i've never i haven't purchased any cloth masks in a while i'm tired of walking around with those surgeon masks on they look disgusting so i got these i got myself a bottle of cabernet i love cabernet um cabernet sauvignon um, this is the director's Coppola brand. So, okay, so I don't like all these devils on here. See, I don't like stuff like that, but whatever. I'm gonna drink this later. I'm gonna put this in my, I have a, um, y'all know I have a wine chill in here, so. Okay, let me hurry up for this thing to start overheating. Got me some Kleenex. This also came from the travel section. Um, since somebody told me I need to blow my nose. Let me stop being petty. Allergy pills. Okay, this is the Up and Up brand, so these were really cheap. Forks, because all of our forks are missing. Okay, super cheap for these. Pack of three was like $3, I don't know. 
cotton pads. I use these like every day for my face and stuff, okay? And I got some David's brand premium natural toothpaste. This is fluoride free, sulfate free, and this is a whitening anti-plaque peppermint. And this is essential oil blend. I've been using fluoride free toothpaste for some time now. So that's that. Is that everything I got from Target? No. Picked up some Mr. Clean. This is pretty much all you can get or Fabuloso or something like really off brand as far as store cleanser, I mean house cleaning products. So I had to get it and you can only get one. So this is what I got. Hopefully this will last me the whole weekend. <laughs> I think that is it as far as Target stuff. I think, I think, I think, I think. I did go to Best I did go to Best Buy to return that microphone that did not work for my camera and instead I exchanged it for a new charger for my iPhone. Um and I just got some pasta from Olive Garden and some breadsticks. Don't mind all that junk up there. Um to go with the salmon from last night. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to eat and chill for a little bit before I start doing my makeup and stuff. Um so yeah, I will check back in with you guys later. I guess the way to get over it is to gain how Hey y'all, I know y'all can't really see my face like that. Okay. But I just was opening this because I was taking everything upstairs and so I opened the toothpaste and if you can see, they have a key. This is called a key. When um, you buy a color, I don't know if drugstore color does it or whatever, hair color, but I know going to the professional store buying color, you also have to buy a key. You don't have to, but if you want to maximize your product, you buy a key. And what the key does, oh, this is a nice key too. This is worth $10. This toothpaste was $10 and it's really worth it, y'all. Look at this key. I am so geeked over this. Okay, so you see that open part? You just slide this onto here. You line it up, okay? And you just, and then you start cranking it. Oops. You start turning it and it pushes up all the product to the top. So, I mean, you don't need this right off the bat, but if it starts to get a little bit low, you use it and then you can start getting all the crevices in like don't wait until it's all the way here because then it's going to be like a waste but yeah this is such i'm sorry but this is a nice toupee and then well i'm not sorry this part i don't know this is a vibe i'm about to take a picture
okay girl so i'm done with my hair my makeup everything okay now let's get to the final portion of this video <clears throat> which somebody asked me what did i think about matter of fact let me pull the question up <laughs> okay let me pull it up someone said do did you hear that cardi took him back after getting a car from him laughing emoji crying laughing girl <laughs> what's your say in that situation okay so how do i feel about offset gifting cardi a rolls royce truck right it's a rolls royce truck let's double check okay so offset bought cardi a three hundred thousand dollar rolls royce truck complete with a custom car seat for culture on her 28th birthday <laughs> and you want to know how i feel about her taking him back after him gifting her that truck um honestly i feel like offset does things for the cameras and does things to put cardi in a position to where like if you know cardi's personality so just from the outside looking in she's very transparent right um she has a hard time keeping anything to herself so i think she's a genuine person when it comes to her feelings and when she really truly loves somebody and I think Offset is aware of that. So I think he does things for the cameras. A lot of people already said this. A lot, I think he does a lot of things for the cameras. And to catch her like. And trick her. Not trick her. But you know she's not going to act crazy in front of the cameras. So do this in front of them. Just to secure his position with her. Um, How do I feel about her taking him back? I don't feel like Cardi like officially took Offset back. I think, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I, I know that Cardi's position as a super mega star makes her seem like she's supposed to be perfect, but she's not perfect and she may look perfect. You know, she may be able to, you know, portray like somewhat of a perfect image, but this is like her actual love life this is her actual marriage so she is young still and they have a child together so when you put a lot of different factors into play we're not talking about like struggle love we're talking about businesses franchises um we're talking about a lot of money that's at stake you know what i'm saying <laughs> Like, so for example, like I mentioned before, Cardi says something about culture and them starting business thing. I just don't think it's fiscally responsible of them to get divorced right now. And I think that Cardi is aware of that. She's very intelligent. And, in, you know, when it comes to financials, I think that she knows that her money would be tied up. And I think it would be a bigger loss for her to divorce offset than it would be for him to divorce cardi and then just the way she's built i don't think she would ask him for anything because i think they have that type of bond to where even if they divorce i know you i know you asked me what do i think about her staying with him yeah i am answering that okay cool <laughs> girl because i can go on a tangent so honestly i just feel like she's making decisions that are wise or right for her right now in this particular season i don't think in my heart of hearts that she is with him to stay i think that cardi could do a whole hell of a lot better but and i think that she knows that too i just think that she's trying to help him save face and she's not trying to make it ugly i think that if they actually do split that it will be amicable and it won't be messy i think offset will still be around when it comes to culture i think he is a part of the family and you know whether he's manipulating her or not you know it may look like he is but like i said cardi is not stupid and i just feel like she is she's just making the best decision that she can possibly make right now and um everything that she does has to be strategic everything that you know she can't just act from an emotional place even though she does a lot of times when she hops on live but it's very difficult to she's still not a seasoned star so 
you know, she's still in a position to where her love life and things like that are very much a part of her brand. And so she really doesn't have a choice. And if you ask me right now, if she plays her position really, really well and plays chess and not checkers, this could work out for her in the long run. I feel like Offset it'd be so high that he don't know whether he's freaking flying a kite or a hot air balloon, to be real with you. I really don't think Offset knows what the hell is going on from one day to the next. I think that... <laughs> I think that he probably doesn't even realize, like I told my boyfriend, I think Cardi could be gone for three months and Offset would not even know. I think that he would be so clueless as to what is going on. I don't even know if he has feelings at this point. I mean, I don't know. I don't know him, but I just feel like when it comes to rappers and stuff like that, like I always try to think, how do they know what's going on if somebody doesn't tell them? Because they smoke a lot i mean i don't know how you're fighting for like that is a fight for attention you or mary jane like i just i don't even know especially when it's like cardi doesn't even smoke so it's like girl how are you keeping your sanity i don't know well the good thing is he probably sits somewhere and just sits there you know she doesn't have to worry about where he is because he probably Literally, will find a seat in the house and just park it, okay, and be there. And that's just how I feel about it. <laughs> Not really. I, I don't think he's cheating. I mean, he could be. Who knows? But, I, don't, I mean, I think there's probably terms on how far he can actually go because, come on. Really? And I don't know if he's entertaining anybody else like that, but... Um, I think it would be super difficult to maintain that relationship, honestly. I, I don't, I don't know how they do it. I really don't, like, yeah. So that's what, that's how I feel about it. I feel, you know, like what I just said. And it's unfortunate for Cardi because I'm sure she wants someone to connect with her on a different level more of a mental level whereas I don't know if Offset can do that I don't know if I don't know what he's like personally but um I, I don't never even see the dude I don't girl I, 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 oh, so about the truck, you know, yeah, I mean, I know Cardi probably played all this out in her head, like, okay, he gave me this truck, what if I still leave him, people gonna say I'm stupid. I don't think she expected for people to be, like, coming down on her for staying with her husband. I mean, it's not always easy to leave a marriage. I don't know, a lot of people don't realize that, like, even when I wasn't married or anything, I was like... If, why is she staying with him she's stupid like about other people but girl you really got to be married to know what that's like like that's on some other type of sorcery type of shit you can't just leave them shit sometimes like you think you can because it's just so many factors that's why i keep telling people marriage is more so like yeah of course you have to love someone but there's a lot of business that is involved with marriage like marriage is a lot of contracts why do you think you're signing things when you're getting married because it's contracts you know it's contractual there you know what i'm saying it's not always like it's not always that easy unfortunately so yeah i don't think they're together for the long haul at all but we'll just have to see how it plays out but you asked me so i answered so if you guys ever want me to i don't know just answer questions about certain things just let me know in the comments just like this person did and i appreciate you asking me my opinion yeah i hope that's what you was looking for girl i don't know so yeah y'all weigh in and i am done so i'm gonna go take some pictures girl and um i don't know go to harris teeter i think i'm about to go to harris teeter because i'm wanting me some red velvet Yeah, I think I want some red velvet. And my camera's overheating. Perfect. So I'll talk to y'all later.